Well, imagine planning on performing in the mid-performance as you hear at the U.S. Capitol only to be cut off by Capitol Police in the middle of singing the national anthem. Uh, that video has gone viral on social media, and we are getting responses from Washington, D.C. today. Only on Fox, our Anna Arinder live with the Rushing Brook Children's Choir at Faith Baptist Church in Taylor's, uh, where the group is getting ready for a performance tonight. Anna? Well, Tori, that's right. We have 19 talented children performing in this choir tonight. You might even be able to see some of the risers and the patriotic background behind me. But as you said, these children went to Washington, D.C. to perform the national anthem and then were cut off by Capitol Police. And a lot of people are outraged by this. This is sparking a lot of uh, controversy between lawmakers as well. Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy from California is calling the interruption, quote, unacceptable. They're saying that the children were well welcomed by his office and the choir director David Rashbeck tells me that he spoke to Capitol Police after the performance and he was told that they could be there again by Speaker McCarthy's office but then he was told that this was quote a demonstration and offensive and he did not have prior approval to be there. Capitol Police later issued a statement apologizing to Rushing Brook Choir saying in part we apologize to the choir for the miscommunication that impacted their beautiful rendition of the Star Spangled Banner and they also denied calling this offensive. Now I do have two lovely choir members here with me. They are brother and sister. I'm going to let you guys introduce yourselves right here. What's your name? I'm Callum Lays. Callum, and what's your name? And I'm Charlotte. Okay, Charlotte. So Callum and Charlotte, again, brother and sister right here. But what was it like actually being able to go to Washington and perform? So the Capitol looked very beautiful, but when we got in Statuary Hall, we lined up and started singing the National Anthem. And after we sang in the second verse, In God is Our Trust, we um, were cut off by Mr. Osbach because um, Mr. Michael Ray, who organized all of this, had tapped him on the shoulder and told him Capitol Police were here. And so we just standed there waiting for what Mr. Osbach would come to say to us. And he told us that the Capitol Police said for us to stop singing. And what was that like for you, Charlotte? I mean, you were ready to, to sing and perform, and then all of a sudden you had to stop. Yeah, well, so we were on the final phrase of the song, and um, we saw someone walk over to Mr. Osbach, and he tapped him on the shoulder, and they spoke for a couple seconds, and then just as we were preparing to sing the very end of the song, we were cut off, and we didn't know what to make of it. But later, a couple minutes later, in fact, um, Mr. Osbach came over to us and addressed us saying that the Capitol Police had said that we weren't allowed to sing in Statuary Hall and that it w was considered a demonstration and that it simply wasn't allowed. And I know that you guys have been with the choir for about two years. Obviously, you love to sing. Uh, what is something that makes you want to keep singing and why do you guys want to sing here tonight? Because, well, because we're allowed to sing for the Lord, we should praise Him in song as we can. And what about you, Charlotte? It's the same with me. I love to sing, and I'm very glad to be able to sing for the Lord. Well, we are so excited to hear it, and you heard it from them as well that they are going to be singing here tonight. Coming up at 5 o'clock, it's going to be right here on Fox Carolina, so you need to stay tuned for 5 o'clock and... We're actually going to have them performing again at 6 o'clock if you missed the 5 o'clock show. So be sure to stu stay tuned right here to Fox Carolina News in Taylor's. Ada Arinder, Fox Carolina News.